Largest Michigan lead at 9, 19, 10. Here is Leisha Petrie stepping around Danielle Rauch after the drive through, and Petrie lays it in. Here's a Petrie to Petrie pass at the left elbow, spinning down the lane. Leisha Petrie, she gets there and lays it on the glass. Verano is back in the game. She gives to Leisha Petrie. Hand off White to Petrie. Petrie is going to take that long three and hit it. Leisha Petrie. Joya Maddox back on the floor. Leisha Petrie, great feed for Sakima Walker in a finish. Take a second look. Sakima Walker, nice performance tonight. Eight rebound, uh, pardon me, eight points and a pair of rebound. One free throw in, one free throw out there for Anderson. Final couple of moments though here in Piscataway and Leisha Petrie ending it with an exclamation point. Second look, good closeout. Morris for Petrie, shot clock late again. Dump it down, attack, and a layup there for Destiny Marshall, her first two points of the day. Here's another look, Petrie with the find, and Marshall just calmly takes it right to the rim. And a low scorer for Rutgers. Petrie, four to shoot, hoist, and hits. Big shot there for Rutgers. Kind of looking for more outside shots, but that just goes into them working the ball around, freeing up their post players. And now it looks like they're trying to get some different looks. And Petrie with a nice shot right there. Petrie now is a team high seven. And she just looks more confident out there. She looked like she felt she was going to knock that shot down. And Petrie got the block on the other end. Not getting back on defense. You got to stop the, the speedy Gonzalez. Rutgers trying to work through Osh Brown. Petrie. That's a triple and a much needed one at that. How about this feed? Post feed. Yes, nice movement there. Everyone looking to Osh Brown because she scored last time, but step up defensively and get a stop. Yeah, pretty straight through first six or seven minutes here as Petrie pokes it away. Leisha Petrie, one on one, lays it in. And if you cheat the passing lane, you better come up with it because it's going to be a bucket on the other end. Petrie off the catch, dumps it down for Sidibe, finishing through the contact and one. Morris, Brown, and now Petrie. Petrie pulls up and connects. It's a tie ball game. Nine seconds. Shot down. Almost identical spots for where she hit the other two three-pointers. I mean, that was incredible. Only six on the shot clock. Out of the timeout for Shook Dixon, one of those transferred from Missouri. Kicked it out to Petrie. Big time triple with the shot clock winding down. December, and they're, they're playing hard enough to, to show that they're getting towards it. At the moment, they will look at the next timeout to see whether or not, in fact, she did get that off. But for now, they'll count that as a three for Petrie, and she's got the steal. In our lingo today, we would say she is in her bag. <laughs> and a good look for Sanderlin. That's another player I would kind of sort of try to go to on the block for Rutgers. And in Lawson, Rutgers trying to run with numbers. Petrie counted the chance at three. She has been phenomenal tonight. Rutgers trying to get into its set here, late in the shot clock. Petrie, three to shoot. Throws it inside for Sidibe, who was open on the block. Get a second look at a good post feed. Great five from Petrie. I mean, the clear height advantage, just throwing right over the top of the guard. Rutgers shooting it at 50% so far, 6 of 12. And Dixon controls with five on the timer. Now Lassiter. Petrie comes off the screen for the three. Got it. Couple of threes dropping today too for Rutgers. Good to see that. Facilitate as well, plays the defense, and it, there it is, another assist to Petrie. Just looking pure, silky smooth from the three-point line. Baruby slipping downstairs, but Nibelink had three players on her, and Rutgers steals it away. Already the fifth Rutgers steal of the opening quarter. In transition, Petrie finds a three. Nice knock down there from Petrie, who can stretch it. Eight second difference shot and game clock for Rutgers. Petrie. Looking for a second three in Kansas. Knocking down some triples tonight, the Scarlet Knights. Walker up for the screen. Petrie off the pump fake. Cuts to the glass. That's a great move from Leisha Petrie to get open. And you can tell right here, just really taking a risk and throwing passes down to their base and counting on them to finish. Petrie from way downtown. 
from back home in Detroit. That's a big three. <laughs> Over the back. See them working the ball around, and I mean, Petrie was far out there, but just really. You have the green light to shoot that whenever, yeah. but sometimes you got to feel. Mason to inbound it, gets it into Petrie. Petrie fights through a couple of players, double team, and she splits them for the layup. Brown back out on top to Lassiter. Lassiter, cross court pass. This is Petrie. Petrie puts it on the deck. She's got it between the circles, working against Abby Ellis. Petrie takes her to the basket, puts up the runner, and scores. She's a great complement to Hillman because she can score in a variety of ways, and defenses have to guard both of them. Shot. Petrie buries a triple from long distance inside a minute to play. The lead back to 20 for the Wolverines. Shook Dixon, a bit bothered, perhaps hampered by an injury, able to come away with the rebound and get it out to Laysha Petrie. Petrie, nice job putting it on the floor off the window. 12 points for Petrie. As Rutgers sets up against Northwestern's blizzard defense. Lassiter holds it out on the left wing. Free in the corner, and the three goes down for Laysha Petrie. For Rutgers, Sidibe enters. Oh, Sidibe, first player off the bench for the Scarlet Knights. Corner three goes with a hand in the face of Laisha Petrie. As the first half progressed, Lauren. Northwestern starting to get it together. They're applying high. Two huge threes down the stretch already. Being guarded tightly by Daly. Burton could have had one maybe there. Petrie face up three. What a shot from Laisha Petrie. Now a cold start from the floor for Wisconsin. Team coming off a loss against Minnesota back on Wednesday. Petrie straight on, knocks down the triple. Nice start for Rutgers. Now here's another look at the Petrie three. You saw the screens, double screen coming down into the basket if she can't do nothing else. So, <laughs> I mean, that was a great shot from her, great read, and she's starting to get going here for the Badgers. Alicia Petrie off the head fake and the and one. Down some open shots. We saw Peacher hit a three earlier, but then right there, just the defender just kind of losing her a little bit. Now Sidibe in here too. Brown and Lassiter go to the bench. Petrie, open look. Book it. It's a three. A little bit. Right there on the singleton screen. Oh, this is the play before. Part Where she shot 11 of 13 from the floor, which equaled 85%. She was also a perfect five for five from beyond the arc. You know when you're playing against your old team, that's what you want to be doing. Brown calling for it. This time gives it off to Petrie. Knock it down with the three and the foul. From Rutgers in that possession, but Petrie coming off the screen. Harris gets nailed and then just knocks it down with confidence. It is so important as a shooter, come off. Even if you see a player coming at you, finish your shot. But now her parents get to watch her for the first time here, right outside of the nation's capital. That's got to be an absolute thrill for Chloe Bibby to have her parents come here and watch her as Petrie drills a three. Drives baseline. Kicks back out. Petrie fakes the three, got Reese jumping. One bounce inside for the mid-range J and puts it down. In the sports, a real shame that she's not on the sideline for the Scarlet Knights this season. Here's Petrie driving and it falls in. Country are getting stops. You see right there a turnover already. Inside for Taya Singleton. Out for Laisha Petrie, and she knocks down the three. Can't script a better start for Rutgers. In transition, extra pass. Petrie tries it again and finds the same result from distance. Wow, nice extra pass. Seven seconds. A low pass for Petrie. But she gets into the lane. Oh, acrobatic and gets the bounce too. And that is a nice way to finish the first quarter. Point advantage on Rutgers. We look back through the first half highlights. Dom Rutgers started the game on a 16 to four run, thanks in large part. To Had the best defense in the league in terms of scoring allowed. They're number two in the conference right now. And there's a tip away by Osh Brown. And the turnover, you're seeing it right now. They're just so strong and not letting you get to the basket. Petrie from deep. When they played two weeks ago, she had her season high of 18 points. Everyone, you know, has to think like, you know, hey, I have to use my other teammates. And a lot of these players come from teams where, you know, they're the top scorers. Hey, Lancia Petrie on the board with her first. Rucker stepping up the defense. Don't want it to go inside, but you got to get out on those shooters.
pass for China Cornwell. Good feed for Petrie to find her. Nice pass in the air in transit. Osh Brown is back in the game. Singleton out. Here's Lassiter. Petrie sets up from three and cans it. Oh, big triple for Alicia Petrie. An unbelievable talent. This, she took a leave of absence in October, but let's talk about her accolades for a second. She's won 20 plus games in 37 seasons. That's the most all time as the Rutgers Scarlet Knights hit a three lit on the rim. This one though, still in reach, just a 14 point game as Deja Winters blocks Petrie, but she's able to get her own rebound and create the end one opportunity. Her strong play, she's now up to 14 points, six rebounds, two assists. Gophers keeping out pretty standard rotation. Kayla Mershon in on Petrie. Petrie launches a three up and good. Especially for a Purdue team that has given up leads, including against this team from Rutgers and then against Wisconsin. They lost a 22 point lead and lost the game and then you allow a three, Laisha Peach. Five seconds to go for Rutgers who will fall to two and 13 in the Big Ten. Petrie will get a late bucket and the final score, 70 to 59. Knows how to get the ball in those certain spots but you cannot let her get that deep in the lane. She's just automatic. Uh, ultimate competitor as well. Not going to be happy with those five turnovers. That's a huge triple. And at the moment, the Hawkeyes are currently on a 13-2 run. Petrie trying to end it. Her second big shot of the half. In the open floor. Now remember this. We'll see what happens here within the second half. Against Indiana, it's Ash Brown. Gets the and one. Brown doubles. Try to get a pass through to Porter. Ill advised. Dixon, a little head fake, faking the pass. Dennis Rodman asked, and it's the reason why she could be so successful at the next level. But she says she's been so successful rebounding with the physicality because she used to play against her brothers growing. Think about that 2004 WNBA draft as well. We'll see another member of that group tomorrow when. Minnesota and then when you're on when you're on their team you love it because they just wreak havoc everywhere nice job by Laisha Petrie to get her first points of the game after missing her first six field goal attempt because of rescheduled games or, or, or things like that it, it's incredibly difficult things have to go your way you have to be able to get some rest and spell some breaks when you can you think this Indiana team can do it. They've got all of those things you said are necessary. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a team that's really tough. Purdue will swing the ball around the perimeter. Petrie driving in, spin move, left hand. Lacia Petrie. Lots of movement around the perimeter for Purdue offense as Petrie will take it inside. And Lacia Petrie, the bucket, count it. Beautiful pump fake by Beeman. That's her fourth assist. Terry off to Petrie, her three, nothing but net. Into this ball game, it's been a good start out of the second half for the Boilermakers. As Harper thought about a three, passing it up, driving inside now. And Petrie, the mid-range jumper, and that's pure. Cannot find the bottom of the basket. Terry dumps it off to Petrie, Petrie crossing over, and a nice move, Lacia Petrie. That right hand layup. If you don't know the name already, you ought to learn it. A similar tune to this Purdue team as Laisha Petrie uncorks from deep and sets it in. Danford trying to draw a player. That ball blocked by Laisha Petrie as the shot clock winded down. Quick pass over to Ellis and she's going to lay it up and two. Laisha Petrie with the steal. She's going to have an un uncontested shot, and she puts it up for two. Olivia Clayton. Laisha Petrie with the steal. Fighting down, fighting against Clayton. She draws it in a foul. Opportunity to get extra. You're going to see turns on the Jets, gets separation, and gets the bucket to go. And the first look for the Sycamore is off the mark. Here comes Janae Terry. Kicks it over to Petrie. And she sinks it from deep. She looks like an NFL quarterback prepared <laughs> for Sundays. 
Mark, this is two consecutive Sundays with 10 assists. There's 11. Good scoring so far, and the defenses have to catch up a little bit. Here's Janae Terry already with three assists in this one. There's two 10 assist games. Nice fake from Petrie, diving to the rim. She finds another bucket. Well, you know that Purdue has the ability to hit the three, but nice little ball fake, up and under move, just beautiful drive to the basket. And just, you can see, Petrie. Here she comes looking to atone for that last mistake. Petrie a three, knocks it down. From three point range, even though they shoot 39% from beyond the arc, but Petrie says, I'll take a shot at it. She has willed Syracuse to stay in this game. The foul call here, count that bucket, and Alicia Petrie's going to the line for one more. Is putting this team on her back right now. Double team came up, she knew somebody was open, hands were up by Iceland Alexander. Patience underneath from Harper, and one. Boilermakers also wanting to get Madison Layden more involved too, who's ditched her goggles, her goggles this year for the first time since grade school as Petrie. Gets that ball thing again, just those little things that got her open. A two-point lead for Purdue, knocked out of bounds. The defense by Purdue. For Maryland, that's Lavender Briggs, the transfer from Florida. The number of changes this year for Brenda Freeze is Laisha Petrie. Extra pass to Petrie, and she responds with a triple. Finish, and then ball movement only leads to good thing. Laisha Petrie. Three. Pullman to Wong, and that trap comes in again. Diving to the inside, kicking it out, but taken away by the Boilermakers. Here's Ellis, one-on-one. -on -one, gets the Euro step and gets it to fall. Cassidy Harden with the shot fake, swings it to Ellis. Looking inside, but great defense. Laisha Petrie picks it up, difficult shot, and she sinks it from behind the backboard. Abby Ellis to Janae Terry. Terry to Petrie. Petrie's going to let it go, and she sinks it from deep. That led Iowa to a tremendous end to that first quarter after they trailed 7-3. to three. But Cassidy Harden steps in to pick that off, the sixth turnover so far, and the reversal. Sinano missing from the short corner. She's stuck at five points. She's six away from 2,000 for her career. Petrie launching the three. Has the room. And then the kick out, Petrie off. Beautiful in feeding the ball ahead to Marshall. It is so exciting to watch Brenda. You never know what kind of magic she's going to have with the ball in her hands as she does right there. That's where they can't score. Kickouts for threes, that's another story in transition. Layden, fresh into the ball game, picks off the pass. Petrie down to Harper again. The on for Purdue have been magnificent. Great extra passes being made. Yes, Wisconsin, they've tried some 3-2 matchup. This time they're sticking with their man-to-man -man where they like to switch and bump. You saw the switch and bump right there on that action. Petrie, much needed three. Not long. Gotta have her back. Petrie knocks it down with a hand in her face. What a shot by the Rutgers transfer. Breaking the press is Purdue. Inside Petrie. Long three for her. Nothing but net. I would like to encourage those Purdue weak side defenders to be in help side so that you don't have to leave that foul. You don't have to commit that foul so far from the hoop. Poor pass by Cash. Taken away by Petrie. Camden trying to get back in time. Abby Ellis at the scorer's table for the Boilers. Terry. Kicks to Petrie. She'll try a three and drills it. Petrie splits the defense, rolls it off the window. Both Purdue and Michigan have done a nice job getting to the basket. Petrie split. Lacia Petrie tries to drive in against Kayla Rainey, and she gets her first basket. Great spin move. Trying to post down 
and Creighton coming over and committing the foul. Janae Terry gives it to Petrie. She takes the three, and she makes the three to put Purdue on the board. As Katie Baravich misses the three, subbing in for Minnesota. Petrie takes another three. Oh, -ho! she hits it. Back in the game for the Golden Gophers. Crossing over on Petrie and swatted out of bounds by the long reach. Now in her second year, as talked about, as the Purdue head coach. Petrie for three, and that's good. Terry, Terry Moore during her days, and she said her favorite quote was, when, you, when, you, when, when you're done learning, that's when you're done, yeah, which is also your favorite. And top three in the country. We're certainly on track to do that again today. Second effort from Petrie turns into a bucket. And the, the absence of offensive production. That one away on the offensive boards. And Petrie just three of ten, by the way. Player averages 14 a game. Able to get her going there. Kayleen Smichael picked up her second personal foul. So she's on the bench, and Rutgers' top scorer may not be back in for a little while. So trying to find offense without her, Purdue instead charging ahead. And I think that's been something that Rutgers has been trying to do. They just haven't been able to get Cornwell in good position to be able to make a play at the rim as Petrie there just drills that wide open three. Harden, we've seen a few from Terry. Abby Ellis had one back in the first half. And there she is, one-handing it for Petrie and a buzzer-beating three. This Purdue offense. So now the Boilermakers break the full court pressure with relative ease. Petrie drive to the inside, around and in for Laisha Petrie. Two solid looks, that second one just connected for the Wildcats. So now Cassidy Harden kicks it out, Laisha Petrie for three, it goes! It's gotta go all the way back to last season. They've won 17 straight at Assembly Hall. Petrie puts it in from the top of the key. Petrie has such a high re release on her shot, it's difficult to close out on him. She gets it right above her head. Petrie a three, yes! Six seconds to play in the first quarter. Petrie from way downtown. And it's back to single digits for the Boilermakers. Coach Carolyn Keeger trying to draw something up. Get her offense to have some life here. No points in the first three minutes of this matchup. Inside to Waltman responding. And we've got a bit of a shootout here in the first corner. 20 to 12, under two minutes. Alicia Petrie says, let me add on to that. Coast to coast. It's how you become a 2,000 point scorer. You are aggressive to the basket. Huge contributor step up. Only averages 2.3 points a game. A 27% shooter from three. But if you're falling behind like this, you need someone to step in. And once again, Alicia Petrie. I draw on the contact. And converting. Here's Petrie. Gradwell on her, stays straight up. Oh, fantastic shot there. Off the glass from Petrie. Good offense. Once again, Hunter beats good defense. Kate just made right there, having her hands behind the back while she's guarding the player with the ball. That's interesting. Here's Petrie going to drive on Gradwell, and that's an and one. Nice drive. Clear for takeoff there was Petrie. Go first momentum. Taking another look at that. Looks like Gradwell had her hand just a little bit too over Petrie. Best way to finish out, you know, your fifth season as head coach at your, you know, your alma mater, and especially 50 years of Golden Gopher women's basketball. Oh, Petrie silences the crowd with an and <laughs> one, drives down the lane. You Petrie know, just does not care that Mara Braun was there and doesn't care about the crowd noise. She's saying We've seen Janae Terry get into the passing lanes and pushing tempo the other way, which is why they have their fast break points sitting right at 12 right now. Purdue starts things off with a turnover right into the hands. Petrie to Janae Terry. Wisconsin is keeping the pressure on. The pressure's not just defensive, okay? Pressure's on offense, too. Alicia Petrie, her unconventional shot. Nearly 60% shooting at the length of Maryland against the speediness of the Illini. Alicia Petrie, a long two. Petrie spinning and a soft finish. 
And here's the bucket, Petrie behind the back, in between the legs, spinning. 